Cry 5 is Ubisoft's next great big open world shooter and it's bound to keep you busy with plenty of activities, missions, over the top action and larger than life characters in its story. This time around you are a sheriff's deputy working to take down the leader of the Eden Gate cult, which is Joseph Seed, and this is happening up in Hope County, Montana. That's right, we're heading to the US of A for the first time. It's a great new setting for Ubisoft to take their open world shooter to, and so here's 10 things to know about the game, starting with by far the most important one. Number 1. You can still pet animals, but only some of the animals. Most importantly, you can pet dogs in Far Cry 5, and that includes your furry buddy in combat, Boomer, who is a very good boy that spots enemies for you and will happily go and attack them as well. Ubisoft are really making use of the animal petting technology from Far Cry Primal here, but for some reason that doesn't seem to include the docile cows that you see chilling out in the fields of Hope County. So for shame Ubisoft, you should let us pet both the good cows and the good boys. Number 2. You'll be fighting bears, wolves, and bulls. One thing that hasn't changed with Far Cry 5 is just how vicious some of the wildlife can be. You can expect wolves, bears, and bulls to attack you practically on sight, and I'm fully expecting bald eagles that will also be more than happy to swoop down and try and take a chunk out of your arm. However, with Far Cry Primal's Fangs for Hire system apparently returning for this game, maybe you'll also be able to tame some of these creatures and bring them to your side as well. Number 3. You'll be blowing up towers, probably since you can't climb them anymore. Okay, so strictly speaking, these are more like incendiary silos than they are towers, but it's important to know that Far Cry 5 is the latest game to do away with the oft-mocked Ubisoft towers. However, I did miss it a little bit. I kind of wanted to climb up a little windmill, for example, and was slightly disappointed that I couldn't. On the other hand, there was a sneaky little hideaway in the top of an abandoned silo, and while it doesn't unlock the map for you, there's that little tickle of tower climbing if that's what you're into. Number 4. You'll be liberating all of the towns in Hope County. With the Eden's Gate cult running amok, you'll be busy finding these little one-row towns like Falls End and saving them from the roving gangs. In place of towers, it seems that it will be NPCs within these locations that will add details and points of interest to your map. Just don't expect them to fill out every single thing for you. Number 5. You can go fishing. Paddlefish caviar is apparently a prized export from this region, and while you won't be searching for the expensive fish eggs yourself, you can head down to the waterfront at certain places and cast a line to try and catch some of the full-grown paddlefish. Finding these fishing spots is just one of the things that you'll have to figure out for yourself in Far Cry 5 without the towers there to point you in their direction. It is pretty simplistic fishing once you actually find it, but there's still a little glimmer of joy and a competitive edge when you discover the weight of what you've just caught. Number 6. Call in some airstrikes. You have got buddies to help you out in combat in Far Cry 5. I already mentioned Boomer, and another one is actually my favourite. This is Nick Rye, the pilot that swoops in with his plane, blasting away with machine guns, bombs and rockets. He's a pretty good companion to have. Number 7. You get to fly that plane. That's right, Nick will hand over the keys to his plane, letting you take to the skies and rain down fire on the cultists for yourself, putting pay to their devilish schemes. Just beware that they have a few planes of their own, so if you kick up enough of a fuss, you might actually then end up in a little bit of an aerial dogfight. Number 7. Get revived by Grace, and then revive Grace as well. One of the things that Grace has over Nick and Boomer when she's your buddy is that not only does she pack some serious firepower of her own, but she can come to the rescue and revive you when you're downed. On the other hand, I did also discover that she can also be downed herself and might need a little help from you. Number 8. Play the entire campaign in co-op. What's better than having an AI body like Grace? Well, having an actual buddy to play with. Far Cry 5's entire campaign can be played in co-op, making this a huge step over the recent games in the series. Far Cry 4 didn't let you play co-op campaign missions, it only let you delve into the side content with a buddy. And then Far Cry Primal actually dropped co-op entirely, so getting to play the full campaign with a friend is big news for this game. 
Number 9. Drive a tractor. Many kids dream of being able to drive a tractor around, and now you can in Far Cry 5. The wide open areas are home to a fair few farms, and there's plenty of agricultural machinery that you can hijack. This includes tractors. And there's nothing quite like mowing down cultists with the wicked looking attachment on the front of this. Number 10. Drive a great big truck. If you love driving tractors around, then you'll also love hopping into the cab of this great big truck, though maybe not as much as the current president of the United States would. The best thing about this, though, is that there's a little nod to Mr. Definition of Insanity himself, with a vast bobblehead on the dashboard. This bobblehead was actually sold as a part of the Far Cry 3 Insane Edition, so if you think about it, does that mean that Far Cry 3 is a video game within Far Cry 5? On that bombshell, it's time to wrap this video up, so please do like, sub, and share if you've enjoyed it, and come visit us over on thesixthaxis.com for our written game content. Feel free to drop by anytime, and until then, goodbye!